Good afternoon, and welcome to the seventh edition of the One Direction Newscast. I am your host, Dr. Conor O'Donoghue, and today is the 532nd day of the One Direction hiatus. And today, I'm starting with Zane. <laughs> now, Zane disappointed fans a lot this week. Uh, he was due to arrive at the Billboard Music Awards, um, and there were tons of photos around the internet of the seating uh, plan um, for the BBMAs, which is apparently what they're called on Twitter. Anyway, there were tons of photos, and uh, you could see Z Zane sitting next to Gigi, and behind Cher, which... I just love the idea that Cher and Zayn would be within touching distance. But anyway, um, Zayn tweeted out that he couldn't go um, and he was very sorry to his fans. And <sighs> Poor old Zayn. Like, he he doesn't want to be famous and yet he does. And he, he, he he's a confused person. Um, and I'm just grateful that he's still making music and he's still in our world. And... Um, thanks Zane, and it's okay that you can't go to everything, you know, we understand. Alright, um, Zane didn't show up, but didn't stop winning! <laughs> Congratulations Zane! Zane won the best new artist at the Billboard Music Awards, and I'm like, new artist? Bitch, please! <laughs> like, Zane's been kicking my heart since 2010. What is all this? <laughs> new. Anyway, so that's Zane. <laughs> Second of all, Harry. There isn't an awful lot to say about Harry. Um, Harry's been in Mexico this week, uh, but was papped while, bless him, while just trying to arrest his balcony. But um, he did a concert, fans went crazy. Um, that's about it. I mean, he his reaction, the, all five of the boys, of course, reacted to the Manchester attack, which is an attack on light entertainment and on teenage music and on many of the things that, uh, you know, One Direction and the One Direction fandom are about. So um, I suppose it was particularly important that they respond. And they all did respond. And they all said the things that famous people in these situations should say. Um, Harry, I suppose, made the news because he um, phoned one of the survivors of the attack in hospital. Um, and, you know, thanks. Next, I'm going to move on to Liam. Liam made an awful lot of news this week because Liam is doing the rounds. <laughs> Liam's promoting Strip That Down, his single. <laughs> and he's having great fun with it. Uh, he was on Graham Norton. And did a quite an entertaining interview. Like, I, I like Liam. But I do see him as the least television ready of the boys in a way. he's He doesn't have... The natural charisma of Harry or Niall or Louis um, and at the same time he doesn't have the sultry smoky danger of Zane so he's kind of caught in the in the middle um, but that said you know he presents himself well now and his interview was a good interview um, and you know his funny story was not funny <laughs> but still you know I still enjoyed it <laughs> Um, Liam's big news story this week was about um, he was interviewed by the Vodafone Top 40 show is that a thing? I, who knows anyway um, and they asked him what do you do if you make number one? he said if I make number one I'll get naked um, oh, naked Liam hi he compared it to when <laughs> he compared it to when Ollie Murs made number one and got naked. Well, released a photo of him naked behind a pineapple. Um, so, well. <laughs> oh, goodness. Naked Liam. Okay. <laughs> right. The, there are lots of other Liam things. Like, he's been interviewed everywhere and telling little funny stories about his days in the band and about ch changing Bear's nappy and various things like that. Uh, so it's all very cute and very sweet. Um, he's about to drop, um, well, Casper Lee is about to drop a video that he did with Liam today. Um, Casper would have been one of the first YouTubers, uh, YouTubers I discovered. So, um, and his, I think his humour is probably perfect for Liam. So I'm looking forward to seeing it. But big secret, 1D fans. <laughs> I may drop this episode on a Monday, but I record on a Sunday. So I can't watch it yet, even though this video will be released after the video that I'm talking about now. Crazy, I know. <laughs> anyway, so that's enough about Liam. Um, 
Uh, finally, Louis and Niall. Uh, I said Louis and Niall because I'm going to talk about them together first because Niall tweeted <laughs> Niall tweeted that he had been on the phone to Tomo. <gasps> I do love when they talk to each other. It just... <sighs> anyway, yeah. Uh, and, you know, he said it had a great laugh or whatever. T Louis Tomlinson then replied with the most enigmatic... Oh! The most enigmatic response, which was, Niall, you'll enjoy the theme of next New Year's Eve party then, or so, something like that. Like, what? Uh, like, they had a conversation about something that is also the theme of Louis's next New Year's Eve party? And also, Louis is planning his New Year's Eve party in May? And also, if, if what they were discussing was so relevant to the theme, how on earth didn't it come up in the phone call? And why are they doing this to us fans? What does it all mean? Maybe he's just having a Nile-themed New Year's Eve party. I don't know! Oh, so many questions. <laughs> also, in Louis News... There is, I told you last week that he released very suddenly the news that he was filming a, a video. Now we suspect we know the name of Louis' new song. He or somebody called Louis Tomlinson <laughs> was registered as the writer of a new song in like, apparently there's like this registry of songs. I, I don't know, like the big great songbook. Anyway, <laughs> there's a song coming out at some stage, called Back To You, and one of the writers is somebody called Louis Tomlinson, so maybe Louis' next song, song is called Back To You. Brace yourselves. <laughs> we'll finish with Niall. Um, other than his phone call with Louis Tomlinson, which clearly set the world alight, <laughs> there's, lots, there's lots of other news too. Um, mainly all the bloody like TV appearances he's doing. Like, like after Harry, Niall is clearly the person most in demand, and I think it's not only because Niall is adorable, because he is, but it's also because So Hands is such a surprisingly good song and nobody expected it, I think that's great. But anyway, um, he popped up on Jimmy Fallon this week where, like, they wrote a really bad sketch for him where he, like, persuades Jimmy Fallon to do Gangnam Style and, oh, oh. Anyway, he was adorable. Um, and he's wearing such a grown-up shirt. Like, really, and trousers, you know, white shirt, black trousers, like he's going to a funeral or something. Lovely. Um, but the pig... Um, the, the, but the big Nile news was the Billboard magazine shoot. Oh my word. <laughs> like, these photos, they're just so... Like, where's my little Nile gone? Like, where is... Where is like, seriously, where... Like, just so grown up. I'm so proud. It's just... Oh, like... Oh, oh thank you, Nile. Well done, Nile. Thank you, Billboard magazine. Thank you, what? Oh, you've all been great. <laughs> I mean, wow. So, <laughs> thanks very much. I've enjoyed this video. I hope you have too. And if you have, please press like. <laughs> please subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, you can watch the previous ones here. You know you should, because Niall would want you to. <laughs> anyway, that's all for now. I'm not wearing any trousers. I've been Dr. Conor O'Donoghue. Thank you. Bye!